Uh, this sold for $152.50 on auction and it was missing a rhinestone. And you can see I. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my big money bolos that I sold on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, the first one <laughs> is kind of funny. I got this. Now, this is not a huge money bolo, but the story behind it, and it's over $35, and I got it free, is fantastic. This came from White Elephant. So my husband's mom, my mother-in-law, every year at Christmas, we do White Elephant. And she is a bolo finder, all right? So she always finds these cool vintage items at the thrift store. And she knows that I'm a reseller. So I'm always like, I want to find her package. I want to find her White Elephant because she's got the good vintage stuff, right? So this was one of the items. So I got it free white elephant and it sold for $37.20 plus shipping. So let me know, do you guys do white elephant? It looks like it retailed for $74.99 back in the day. Wow. How funny is that? There it is. And I may have talked about this one before. I think it may have been in my last video now that I uh, am looking at the pictures. So already in the box, easy to ship easy bolo right there. Easy one. And I showed that it worked. So what I did is I set it up and I put something, um, I think that's in my light box. So it is a autograph art projector, tracer and larger drawing artist portable in original box. The next one is this how to train your dragon zipple, zipple back. Is that right? Did I spell that right? Zipple back. Is that what it, oh yeah, it's zipple back <laughs> action figure. Uh, Belch and Barf Spin Master. So this one took a while to sell. I listed it high and I waited on the right buyer. It was on sale at 35% off and I sold it for $71.50 plus shipping. And I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. And I just went ahead and did the dimensions of the box. So people kind of had an idea of how big it was. And there it is. The next one is this Donald Trump is it Funko? I always say Funko and it's Funko, right? Funko Pop campaign 2016 road to the White House number zero two. Now, I do believe that I could have held out for more on this one, but I paid one dollar for it. Yes, I said one dollar for it at a garage sale with a bunch of other ones. So what I did is I paid, I think, one price for all of them and I divided it out or maybe they said a dollar each. I can't remember. Uh, I did have other offers and I may have had a higher offer that I declined waiting on a waiting on my 200 plus dollars. And then I got another offer for 145 and I just went ahead and took it. I mean, a dollar into 145 is definitely a bolo in my book. The next one is this Sigma Kappa uh, Greek sorority fraternity lapel tie pin pledge member. So these do pretty well. Anything that is fraternity or sorority, uh, I would pick it up. Uh, this came in a bulk buy, so I don't have very much in it. I'm not really sure exactly how much I have in it, but I sold it for $49.60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is incredible. And this sold, I want to say within 24 or 48 hours. And these have just been sitting in my money pile. And I was like, I'm going to list today and I'm going to list all day. And that's what I did. And uh, I will tell you that a lot of those items have sold. So list, list, list if you want to make sales. Vintage, I, I don't know if it's Pose or Posey doll, stockinette head made in Japan, big eyes for crafting. So I just did a Google image search and that's how I figured this out. I bought um, a bunch of these at the Goodwill bins. They still had the plastic over them like that. And I had six total. Somebody made me an offer for $108 for all of them. And I went ahead and took that because it was a quick offer. These are very lightweight. I probably had less than $2 in all of them. This took forever to sell. And it's probably because I priced it very, very high. Um, I think I had it higher than this. And then I think I reduced it. And I got this at a thrift store for $1. It's a vintage artisan made brooch, punk goth costume jewelry face pin. One of a kind is OOAK. 
Now, are my keywords the best? I'm not really sure. Maybe some other keywords would have been better. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are just different things that someone has pieced together to make this really cool artisan made brooch. The next one is a crown trafari snake. Now, there were not a whole lot listed. I'm pretty sure I had to go over to WorthPoint to find this uh, really good comps on this item. If you guys aren't using WorthPoint, I do have a tutorial. Type in Bolo Buddies WorthPoint and it'll show you how to use WorthPoint to figure out the value of your item and how it helps me to find better comps when maybe the comps aren't there on harder to find items. Uh, I do have a referral link down below. You can use that to join WorthPoint and it'll take you over to the website and it'll just talk to you about um, the pricing and all of that. I I pay for the year. Um, when I joined, it was cheaper to pay by the year. I haven't looked at how much it is recently. You can definitely check that out with that link down below. I, again, I don't know the the cost right off the top of my head. But for me, it's worth it because I make more on my items. Now, it's not for every item like clothing. I'm not sure how good it would be for just everyday clothing. You can usually find comps pretty easily on eBay and the other platforms for clothing, but harder to find things. It's great. Uh, this sold for $152.50 on auction, and it was missing a rhinestone. And you can see I pointed right there to the missing rhinestone. There it is. It is a snake ring. And if you see the crown trafari snake ring, it is a harder to find item and definitely a bolo. Right there's your crown trafari. So this is one thing that if I took this to whatnot, being that it's missing a rhinestone, I'm probably not going to get top dollar for it because it's missing a rhinestone. This is something where I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to do a auction and see what happens. If it doesn't sell, I'm going to price this high on eBay and I'm going to wait for somebody who's really looking for this item and I'm going to price it high. So usually when things are defective or missing something, I'm going to try it on eBay. Also, because I like to show you guys that items that have issues can sell for big money. It's kind of a teaching learning tool and I like to challenge myself. So this is a fabric and uh, it's a big bundle of fabric. I do have some other lots available if you craft or uh, resell. I am not cutting these things up and selling them by the, what's it called? Seems so vintage sells fabric by the fat quarter or something. Is that what it's called? A fat quarter? <laughs> I'm like, what is a fat quarter? But it's a measured out piece of fabric. Well, I wasn't doing all that. So I got all of this at an estate sale. I paid like $5 per trash bag and I just decided to lot it all up. There's some really, really uh, great fabric. But uh, Pinky's secondhand store actually picked this up for me and she has a retail store. So she may be going to put this in her retail store. I'm not sure, but she also sells under on eBay under the same name. So check her out. She's awesome. And this is a vintage strawberry shortcake. Oh, I'm sorry. I sold the fabric for 65 and the buyer paid shipping. Strawberry shortcake, 1983 Kenner cake blow a kiss doll. She has her little bonnet, but she's missing her socks. Uh, I got this at a thrift store for $2 and I sold it for 42 plus shipping. And I'm pretty sure I listed her the same day. I listed those. Well, maybe not. Maybe it was earlier, but it wasn't listed a super long time. It was a pretty quick sale. So. This is what she looks like. She's in really nice condition, but I paid two bucks for. Her. And there is the tag. Always take a picture of the tag. Sometimes the tag will tell you what the doll is and the year. So great information. You can put it right on the tag. It helps you research it. Google Lens will also pick it up. If you guys don't know about Google Lens, it will help you identify your items. You take a picture of it and um, it'll pull up items. It'll pull up comps for you. A lot of times they're active listings though. So you may want to use it for identification and then search solds to see what the items are actually selling for. But yes, fabulous little bolo right there. Two and a 42. The next item is this vintage storyteller doll necklace, artisan made signed um, storyteller jewelry. So the reason I knew that this was going to be good is because on my whatnot, and I have a whole video about it. I sold a storyteller doll and everybody's like, oh, that's a good one. I can't remember what it sold for, but it was an actual figurine. So when I saw this, I did pay up for a little bit. 
uh, I did pay up for it some. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but it was more than I usually pay because I knew I was going to put it on eBay and try to make some money on it. And I did make money. I don't know how much though. So sorry. Um, I did sell it for a best offer of $70 plus shipping. There were some condition issues. You can see a little chip right here and some paint loss. So it was not perfect. So I was happy with the 70 and there right here, some chipping as well. So just disclose it, show close up pictures and you should be good to go. You can sell items that are defective for sure. This here, I don't even know why I'm showing you this, but I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you the story if you haven't heard it. Back when I was doing retail arbitrage, we're talking a long time ago. Uh, I went on to David's Bridal and they were having a clearance sale and you can bundle, you know, things into your cart that are on clearance and buy things cheap and resell them. Now, what's tough about bridal stuff is the dresses get discontinued. So it's not like you can go into the store and somebody can say, all right, I want my bridesmaids to wear this dress in this style. If, if they did not get discontinued and new things came into the store, this would be great for me, right? But because they discontinue, um, it has to be more of a bride that says, I want this color, you can have any style. Then they may come to eBay and look for the item in that color. So this one actually sold for $40.30. This one is a Vera Wang dress. So it's one of the higher ones. It's white by Vera Wang. And $40.30 plus shipping. I probably had $15 to $20 in this. So definitely not. Maybe it was $12. $12 to $15. This was one of the higher dollar ones because it was the Vera Wang. But yeah, you can find items on websites, look for coupons, look for discounts, wait till the end of the season, and then just know that they're going to sell next season. That definitely works. People also buy these for prom and for homecoming. Would I do it again? No. So this is more of a, yes, I sold it for over $35. However, would I do it again? No. I'm still trying to sell all of the ones that I bought. I probably bought, I don't know, 150, 200 of these things in different styles and brands. So I would call it, I made, I made a lot of money, so I wouldn't call it a mistake, but I'm over it. I'm ready for them to be gone and off the rack. All right. The next is some more fabric. This one sold for $43.40. Also to Pinky's se secondhand store and lots of fabric here, polka dots and checks. So I tried to divide things up into uh, different groupings. Now, could I have made more parting this out, cutting it down to a fat quarter? Yeah, I probably could have, but I just, that does not interest me. Uh, I don't have, I don't have time to do that. And I don't like fabric. I don't like measuring. I don't like anything about it. So I would rather just lot it up and sell it like that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, down below is the worth point link. You can check that out. I also, if you want to see how it works, I always recommend checking out how it works. Things that I use for my business, I try to make videos showing you guys how they work, like whatnot. I have a tutorial that teaches you how to sell on whatnot. There is a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with that referral link. And I hope you guys will come hang out with me on whatnot. I'm really loving it over there. I am still selling on all the platforms. However, whatnot is kind of what I'm pushing. Um, most of my time into right now, but I am still, as you can see, selling on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Those are my three platforms. I do use List Perfectly. To cross post, there's a tutorial down below on that. You can get 30% off your first month with my referral code, Bolo Buddies, all one word. But check out the List Perfectly video. <laughs> that was, did not go out right. Um, there's a tutorial down below. See if it's a good fit for you, but they have come out with a lot of new features that are super, super exciting. So look at the updates on the website. And if you decide it's a good fit, Bolo Buddies, all one word, that is my referral code and you will get 30% off your first month. So I've been using it since 2019. That is crazy. It is 2024. That is crazy. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.